What's going on, guys? It's your boy Terry by Reacts here, and we are back with another episode of Evangelion. Today, we're going to be doing episodes 20 through 22, and then on the next reaction for Thursday, we're going to finish up. Okay, so um, just to let you guys know, I will be doing the movies after you guys just got to let me know what order to watch them in. Um, but yeah, let's talk about it, man. Like last three episodes were really interesting. Um, wasn't confused about anything really. It was more of, it was more of just the choices that Shinji had to make, um, because of his friend Toji, um, being involved and, you know, I, I, I just compare and contrast certain things in that in those episodes where I was saying was um, Shinji's dad, you know, what's his name? Gendo, right? Gendo, Ikari. I was wondering, like, you know, if you were in his shoes, would you have done the same thing? He could have made better choices, of course. Um, I understand why Shinji did what he did. But I'm also not excusing him. <laughs> War is is a very difficult thing. And when you know that's that this is war, but also you got to consider the fact there's so many elements to this anime where you still got to go to the fact that they're only like 15 years old. So it's like. Are they supposed to be put in that situation? We, I still don't know why they have to use kids. And I, I don't know. I don't know why. It's always a child. Why? We have grown-ass people there sitting down there, military minds. Why does it have to be a child? I don't know. They still haven't explained that yet. Um, we're getting a little, a little bit more information as we, as they wrap up the season. So I'm hoping that by the end of the season, I will have a better understanding of what's really going on in this anime. Like right now, I'm just from, from the perspective of how things are going, you know, Asuka, she tried to handle things on her own and that angel on her own. She got whipped, um, you know, because Shinji wasn't there, but you know, shout out to, um, what's his name? Kaji, Kaji, Ka Kaji is his name, right? Right. Um, yeah, Kaji is his name. Right, so yeah, I got this stuff written down now because I'm tired of forgetting these damn names. So, so yeah, Kaji gave him a speech and he jumped right back in. And we, the thing about Shinji, I respect his decision to leave because he didn't expect it to be his friend, and that's the reason why they didn't want to tell him all in all, right? All in all, they did not want to tell him. Because they knew he was probably going to react that way. So, they didn't tell him. Not even Asuka told him. So, I, I, was, I was disagreeing and saying that, you know, they should have told him. They should have at least given him some sort of inkling as to who it was. Because that way, he probably could have fought against it gave his feeling and now we're getting the aftermath of it. so it's always better to know things than to react to it a lot of things that we do in life is is a re is reacting to stuff that's already happened right and it's always good to know things beforehand because now you're in a place where you might not be in the mental space to deal with it so you react the wrong way so um, so I, I, I still think he should have known or they should have told him and I, but I do understand why they didn't. Right. Um, so I still don't know what, what are the elements that goes into choosing these children, him being the fourth ch child. Um, and you know, if EVA, um, unit three. 
the angel just took over that junk um but yeah at the end of the the last episode episode 19 we got to see man shinji went out there ran out of power with unit um was it unit one yeah ran out of power with unit one and something emerged so under all that metal and stuff it seems like there's some sort of i don't know if it's alien or human element behind the evas but i'm i'm pretty sure they're going to a lot of stuff is going to be revealed now because we i definitely want to know what the hell is going on with with these evas because and acting like an animal like a gorilla you know in that sense so i still want to know what's the deal here um but boy that angel was working them ain't it that angel went further than any other angel before um Hamos got to headquarters if it wasn't for shinji coming back pushing them back bringing him back to the surface and junk that was great but still you know he was gonna be killed and some instinct and that's why that's why i was saying before that i feel like these evas they have some sort of human consciousness transferred to them in some way i don't know if they're angel based or human based i still don't know or maybe i miss i know you guys will tell me if i missed something but i don't think i did i'm still waiting for an explanation a dialogue that leads to us to me knowing what's really going on so i'm gonna jump in this episode man um we got three episodes today so i will see you guys back here for the review hope you guys come back and check it out I will see you guys for it, all right? All right, guys. Uh, that was another three episodes. Episode 22-22. Yes. We are back again with some EVA reviews. I mean, this series was some really troublesome three episodes so what the aftermath is of um what happened with shinji and them trying to figure out i like that bit of history in i think it was episode 21 where we kind of learned about shinji's dad how he came up in the game you know what i'm saying like he he was just sinister from back then like it's just his attitude is just Wanting to accomplish greater things, you know. Uh, so we learned a lot about where the EVAs come from. How they were created through this um, angel that they call that they call an Adam, right? And it's so weird. We got to a lot, um, a lot of background on the, you know, Shinji's mom. Seems like old boy Gendo was smashing ritsuko's mom you know but he did but he was calling her a whole hag behind her back um <laughs> they were trying to achieve some things and it's so obvious i still want to learn more about this organization organization called sealed it seems like it it seems like they want to have control um over everything you get what I'm saying? That's why they're like, oh, we can't, uh, we can't allow Gendo to create a god, right? So I'm guessing that they're, they were against the whole EVA situation from way back then. Um, and I think um, Kaji finding, finding out about everything is what got him killed, okay? So... I don't know what Asuka's problem is. She is just a proud person and she hates being beaten at anything. Listen, no matter how good you are in this world, eventually somebody's going to come along that is better, that does it better than you. Um, why? Because that's just the cycle of life. That's how it is. It's just like how we have tons of technology today that a lot of people would have never thought of back in the day as 
as much as I consider Einstein to be the genius of geniuses, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things today that I don't think he would have figured out. That's just my opinion. Um, he set the precedence for a lot of things. Don't get me wrong. The theories and um, the um, theoretical math, all of these things he set into plays that cause, you know, it's like a cause and effect situation where he, he, he set things in motion so we can have a lot of these things today that we play around with, right? You know, in engineering and math and to create all this technology and all this other stuff. But I really do think there are things that he wouldn't have came up with or wouldn't have been thought of on his own. You get what I'm saying? Somebody came along that was better. You know what I'm saying? Like um, Elon Musk, pretty smart guy. Um, um, very pretty smart guy. When it comes on to technology and doing stuff, you know, we've had some brilliant minds come after him. I mean, you know, I can go on and on and on about brilliance in their respective fields, you know, but that's just how it is. There's always going to be somebody better than you. Her jealousy is absolutely ridiculous. And it, her teenage years are really showing in that last episode, in episode 22. Um, I don't know if she's, I don't know. I really can't equate her attitude to any to anything other than her just being a teenager because she doesn't know. I don't think she knows that Kaji is a goner. Like, I don't think she knows. So that's what I'm going off of. If she knows, then it would explain a lot of that attitude. But all she's talking about is how she hates Shinji because Shinji kind of showed her up. Um, but she don't understand what Shinji has been going through. And she's not trying to understand anybody but herself. So it's, it's just, she's getting annoying. Let's just be real. She's getting real annoying, but I'm still watching out for her characters to see if she's going to have any sort of growth. She's been this bitch for the longest now it's time for her to put away those childish everybody else is acting like an adult shinji's acting like an adult ray's acting as an adult even though they're not i'm still concerned about ray's history though i really do feel like this guy um i really do feel like um this guy gendo either made Ray out of something or and that's their mom in some way I I don't know but it just Ray is just the anomaly in this in this thing right now that I'm trying to I'm still trying to figure out she's weird I mean look at they gave an example of her as a child when he brought her back at first when they showed her I thought I thought for a minute there was Risico's mom you know because they were banging i thought it was their kid for a minute there and then he introduced her and said her name i was like okay okay so it, it has nothing to do with that and then what she was telling old girl you know what i'm saying um so i'm wondering if in that moment she actually choked ray out and ray died and you know, because she's probably some clone or robot or something, they brought her back. So there's still a little bit of confusion there as to who Ray is. I st I'm still waiting on a clear explanation of what's going on with her. But I was happy to see Shinji's mom, you know, and also Ritsuko's mom that came up with Maggie and how she went about it, her relationship with Ritsuko during that time, you know, they wrote letters back to back and whatever. Also got a little bit of background on Misato, which was great to see. She after the um after the second impact how she was. She lost her entire family. She didn't talk for like two years. So it's a lot of things that was encom encompassing these three episodes, just giving a brief history on these characters and you know how they were back in the day. You know, so pretty cool, man. They've all been through a lot except Asuka. I still don't know what her deal is. You know, what was this? You know, she kept seeing her mom and this doll in her flashbacks or whatever. 
and I don't know what that significance is. Who was her mom in the room having relations with? You know what I mean? Like, as she overheard it outside, like, what was that about? So, there's still much to be seen. Um, these last few episodes, I'm going to try to finish up on Thursday, of course. But I'm looking for some big reveals, some more understanding. I know a lot of you guys have been saying you got to watch the movies to really understand everything. Right? So, I'm looking forward to that. You guys just have to let me know what order to watch these movies in because I will be doing them no doubt about it. So thank you guys for listening as always, man. It's been great. This was a great one. No doubt about it. Um, great reaction. Three, these three episodes was cool. Um, if you guys have a better understanding of what's going on, don't be afraid to put it in the comments section. This is just my thoughts. And I like to have a completion of things before I really put like theories out there as what I did with Code Geass. Um, how I gave you guys my thoughts as a completion when everything, when the move was done, when Lelouch was done with the move, that's when I gave you my opinion, my perspective on things. And that's what I want to do with Evangelion also. I don't want to speculate too much, but I'm still trying to put in the dots together. So thank you guys for watching as always, man. Remember to leave a like. Just remember, you are Terror Squad. I am Mr. Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys on Thursday. Peace.